going down. Copyright 2010 by Jack T. Chick, LLC, printed in the USA. He's alone. Now I can make my move. Reach. Marshall, drop that rifle. I'm Hank Daggett. Remember little Bobby Daggett? I reckon I do. You shot my little brother down like a mangy dog. I swore I'd kill you for that. You ready to meet your maker, Marshall? I ain't scared to die, you low down coward. Then die. I'll see you in hell, Marshall. Blame, blame, blame. Gasp. Hold it right there, mister. We saw the whole thing. You shot the marshal in the back. He's guilty as sin. Let's string him up. We don't need a trial. Somebody get a rope and bring his horse. It's time to die, mister. You're going to meet the death angel. I'm glad I killed him, and I ain't afraid of no death angel. You should be, you wicked varmint. In another minute, you'll be in hell. God won't have mercy on his rotten soul. That's a fact. Yep, he'll burn down there forever. Ain't that right, boys? Horatio Evans, what on earth are you watching? Such dreadful language. Turn it off. It was a western. Emily, it got me thinking. About what? Well, in the story, they were talking about hell. Oh, for goodness sake, Horatio, that's not even acceptable in the 21st century. Maybe that's why the Reverend never talks about it. Of course, it's negative, upsetting, and offensive. Besides, we want to put up with him preaching on that subject. Well, I'm going to ask him anyway. Reverend Brinks, when people go to hell, do they really burn forever? Gasp, uh, cough, cough. Why on earth would you ask a question like that? I want to know, do they or don't they? Horatio, ha ha, that belief came out of the dark ages. Come on, God's too loving to put anyone in a place like that. Then hell is not real? Of course not, trust me. Hmm, that's comforting. Four nights later, Horatio, look out! Crash. 2 a.m. Reverend, Brink, Reverend Brinks? Yes? There's been a horrible accident. Emily Evans was killed. Horatio Evans is in critical condition. He's in intensive care at the community hospital, and he's asking for you. You better hurry. I'm on my way. Two forty a.m. You lied to me, Reverend. What? I was dead in the ambulance for six minutes. I know hell is real. I saw it. Then they brought me back, and then I died again. I saw the flames and I heard the screams, ghastly creatures laughing at me. Then they brought me back again. My darling wife is in hell right now and I'll be there soon too because of you. You destroyed us. And when you die, Reverend, and join us down in hell, we'll be waiting for you. Please wait outside, your five minutes are up. 4.46 a.m. Reverend, Horatio Evans just passed away and I must say it was a terrible death. Sorry to hear that. Hell doesn't exist, he must have been hallucinating. Reverend Brinks, yes? I'm the nurse that attended Mr. Evans. I heard what he said to you. I think my grandfather can help you. He's a retired pastor and understands how you've been treated. Ah, a man of God. He'd love to meet you, thanks. I might just pay him a visit. Every night for the next week. We are waiting for you, Reverend. We hate you for not telling us the truth. It won't be long. You'll be joining us soon. I can't stand these nightmares. I'm a wreck. Where did I put that card? Ah, I hope you'll make time for me. The next day, hi, I'm Frank Thompson, come on in. I'm Reverend Bob Brinks, and I'm a wreck. Thanks for seeing me. 
Sir, did your grandfather, t did your granddaughter tell you what happened at the hospital? Yes, Bob. I believe God gave you that glimpse of reality to open your eyes. You heard from an eyewitness what goes on in the spirit world. And you actually saw a soul that slipped into hell. It gave me nightmares. Bob, billions of souls are down there because no one warned them. And billions more are on their way. Their blood is out of our hands. What do you mean by that? Listen to this, Bob. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked ways, to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Gasp, I've never heard that. Jesus himself constantly warned us about hell, because he knows the value of a soul. He said, what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Jesus also said, But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed hath, pass, hath power to cast into hell. Ye, I say unto him, fear him. Jesus was speaking of himself as the judge on judgment day. Jesus told a story about Lazarus and a rich man who died and whose soul went to hell. He spoke, he heard, he tried to warn his family about the reality of hell. And Bob, he's still down there in the flames. That's horrible. What about your soul, Bob? Are you ready to face judgment? Me? But I'm a minister. Don't you know that judgment must begin at the house of God? As pastors, God warns us God expects us to warn our people about the dangers of hell. How could I warn them? I've never believed in hell, and now I'm afraid of going there. There's only one way to avoid hell. Remember, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and Christ came to save sinners. I betrayed my own people. Why would he want to save me? Because he loves you, Bob. When the Creator died for our sins on the cross, he washed away our guilt away. He washed our guilt away with his precious blood. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John chapter three verse sixteen. Three days later he rose from the dead. When a lost soul believes on Jesus, a miracle takes place. Your sins are forgiven. God's Holy Spirit enters you, making you a new creature. Will you believe on Jesus, Bob? Yes. Yes, I will. And he did. Bob, your name is now in the book of life. You'll reign with Christ when he returns, because now you belong to him. Wow, I know in my heart I'm saved, but what about my congregation? I've got to warn them. Be prepared for war, Bob. No one wants to hear about hell. Many will turn on you. I don't care. I love them too much for them to go to that horrible place. Many of you will ignore this warning, but when your heart stops beating, and it will, you are going down. It'll be too late. If you want your sins forgiven, do what it says on the last page. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's all it is. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says that there is only one way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me.